Hey guys, it's Shayna and today I'm going to show you how to do this super easy and simple chignon bun. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to take my hair out of this top knot bun that I slipped in. I'm gonna grab my Design Essentials Honey and Shea Edge Tamer and Daily Moisturizing Lotion for this tutorial. I'm gonna start by putting a dime sized amount of the moisturizing hair lotion all throughout my hair. And then I'm gonna detangle my hair just a bit because who wants tangles? So I'm going to take that wide tooth comb and start from the ends of my hair, gently picking through my hair until it gets all big and fluffy. And now I'm going to do a side part. I love my side parts. That's like my signature. And once I get the part where I want it, I'm going to push all of this hair into a very loose ponytail. And then I'm gonna roll the ponytail holder down to the base of my neck. Once I have my ponytail where I want it, I'm gonna detangle the ends of my hair because this is gonna make the takedown process so much easier and it's also going to help so much when you're trying to do your hair. So I'm just gonna wrap two rubber bands around the bottom. Um, you know, use as many as you want. Um, but this is one of the ways that I love to stretch my hair. So now I'm going to slick down them edges, honey. You guys know I have to get my edges. So I'm gonna use that Honey and Shea Edge Tamer. Now I'm gonna take my super duper gigantic headband and wrap it around my head twice as you have seen me do many a times before. Now I'm going to create like a little gap in between my hair and I'm gonna flip that ponytail up into the gap. Then I'm going to take a bobby pin, and this is really hard to see, but I'm taking a bobby pin and I'm putting it around that first ponytail holder, and then I'm securing the bobby pin to my head by sticking it into the headband. So once I get that done, I'm just going to push the headband down. Of course, you can do this with bobby pins if you want. I prefer using the headband because it's a lot quicker. This is a 10 minute hairstyle and when I say 10 minutes, I mean it took me 10 minutes even moving the camera around and trying to get all the different angles and stuff like that. And then you're just going to take a few bobby pins and secure it into place. And of course, if you want to cover that headband, you can definitely put like a more decorative headband on before you push it back. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Don't forget to also check out SugarStilettoStyle.com. I am blogging daily now, so there is way more inspiration for you guys to see. And if you want to see other videos, you can go ahead and click on this page. It is interactive, but in the event you're watching on a cell phone, the links are in the description bar. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.